Hey guys, Lonnie from Red Moto. So today we're gonna to be working on this 2013 Lexus ES300 front bumper removal and installation. If you guys like this video, go ahead and like, subscribe, and turn on that push notification. And then also, if you guys need any pre-painted auto body parts for your car, go to redmoto.com, your pre-painted auto body parts source. If you guys need this particular bumper for your vehicle, the link is up above and also down below. Let's get started. All right, guys, so if you guys want to, well, I got started already, so I didn't know if you guys want to watch this video on how to take off the accessories. So basically, on the top part right here, this little rubber piece is just held down by these little clips right here. So all I did was uh, use a fly head and kind of come back here and press down on it and then pull, and it kind of released multiple of those uh, clips. That's going to be one. And it's gonna be held on by double stick tape right here. So all you do is keep on pulling slowly. And then another clip right there. And another clip right there. And another clip right there. Okay, so this is the bumper right now. It's upside down while I take off the accessories. And there's gonna be a clip right here. So again, that's a push pin. Right there. There's gonna be one on the other side too. Right here. All right, so then on top, there's gonna be uh, Phillips uh, screws. Phillips screws right here, right here, right here, right here. So, you got a Phillips screwdriver. This is like a star looking one. So again, on top of part of the grill, there's gonna be more screws. So just follow it, like right here, this one. So now we're gonna have to take off the back cover right here. So take off this back cover right here. There's gonna be these push pins right here, or they're not push pins, they're like little tabs. So you gotta get your, you gotta get your fly head like this and push it back a little bit and then kind of wedge it in between where it's kind of like uh, the crab is hanging on to that little, uh, I guess like a little le ledge on this bump, on this thing. Yeah. So let me show you guys how to do that. So get your fly head and then go ahead and while you're, deep, while you're pushing that tab back, pull up and then continue pull up with one hand and while you're using the other hand, get that tab disconnected. And the reason why you're pulling up on this tab, I mean on this grill up, is because you don't want that tab to go back into place. So continue. So the bottom is good. Let's see where the sides are. All right, so now, the tabs are done on the bottom. So like, right now, I'm gonna go ahead and separate the actual bumper from that grill. See if I can make it a little bit more loose for me. This is kind of tight, that grill. So you guys can see, okay. So now it's a little bit more loose. And then I'm gonna continue on on this top part right here, taking off those tabs. All right, so. All right, so once that's, once those tabs are un, unhooked, it's like this one popped back into place. All right, once it's unhooked, you can go ahead and take off that grill. There we go. We're gonna go ahead and work on the bottom uh, grill. But first, we gotta take the, the wires out of the way here. I'm going to use a fly head. I'm going to get that out of the way. All right. Okay. Get that wire out of the way. We're going to continue to the top portion of it, like right here. And we're going to do the same exact thing, okay? OK. 
Okay, these wires out of the way. And now we can try to figure out, okay, there we go. These are the exact same thing on the top portion, on the top grill. So you're gonna have these tabs right here, same thing. Get your fly head and push, push down back on it and then lift up the grill while you push it, like that. This one's a lot easier. All right, so the bottom grill's gone. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take off these uh, sensors. If you guys have them, this is how you guys take them off. If you don't, skip this step and go ahead and move to the next one. We're gonna go ahead and go all the way down, okay? Let's start off with this side right here. So let's see how we take this off. Looks like this off. Let's unhook it first. So let's take the wire off first. So all you do is push down on that clip right there and you should take that wire off. So I know it's held on by double stick tape right here. That's one way to take it off. I guess maybe that is the only way to take it off. Let me look into this a little bit further since I have this off already. Show you guys how to take off this thing without taking off the double stick tape. So one way, yeah, I take off the double stick tape, okay. So the other way is like, it's clipped on there, but it's so fragile that you actually have to get your flathead and in inside that tab, wedge it in there, and then it should release that clip, okay? Because it's held on by this clip right here, but because this tab doesn't go further and far, far enough or back enough, to get the, um, this hole off of that clip right here, that you actually have to wedge your flathead in here, and then that should make, give it enough leverage to pull this out, okay? Then this other one right here, go ahead and take off that. All right, so we got our sensors off. Put that to the side. All right guys, so the fog lights are pretty easy, I hope. But there's just Phillips screws right here, all around. This fog light should come off now. Yep, there we go. Fog lights off. All right, so now take off the actual bracket. Same thing, Phillips everywhere. There we go. All right, so now take off this chrome piece right here. I'm just gonna press down on these tabs right here. Yeah. Oh yeah. You know, these tabs are pretty brittle. Okay, I got a fly head. So now I'm pressing down on the tab itself, the plastic tab on the back of the bumper. So that, that gives the, uh, the chrome piece a little bit less uh, force on it. There we go. All right, so there you go. All right guys, so now you have these chrome pieces like you know underneath so basically they're the same thing there's like tabs that you guys have to depress and then push it down instead of like lifting it up you're going to push it down so then it'll release the chrome piece but before you guys do that there's going to be screws right here once you take off like the lower grill there's going to be screws down here So work my way from the top. All right. 
Now we gotta work our way to the bottom. All right, so now we're gonna turn the bumper over. So now the bumper's turned over. Focus a little bit more right there. All right, so once you guys have that, that chrome piece on the tabs that are disconnected, you're gonna go ahead and pull up. So top first, pull up. If you feel any resistance, that means that some of the tabs are still in place. So flip it back over and then take those tabs off. But since it's not, now you pull this way because you guys have those tabs. Miss, if you didn't, you will break this. All right guys, so now we're gonna go ahead and put everything back together. So on this one right here, we're gonna start off with the fog light on this side. So you're gonna get that bracket, and a big bracket for a fog light. I'm gonna insert that. Just like that, and there should be three. So one right here. So we got one screw right here. I'm gonna tighten that up. Oh, okay. the fog light all right so if you guys look closely right here there's gonna be in inserts that you can put in there or slots so basically you insert this fog light in there first right here so it goes all the way in there and then it should line up with the other holes right here <music> Alright, so now we're going to go ahead and put that chrome bezel in place. So basically just go ahead and uh, make sure these tabs right here line up with the hole right here. And you should be able to just press down on it like that. And just tug on it, make sure it's secured. Alright, so now you're going to flip the bumper upside down again. And then we're going to put the top grilly on so this piece all you gotta do is make sure these holes right here line up with the tabs on the top and the bottom once they are all lined up you can start pressing down on them so i like to use one hand and hold up the bumper the painted portion and then i like to hit it right here yeah, so you pull, you kind of tug it, should be right in place. All right, so same thing on this bottom portion right here. Let's see how it works. Line it up first. So it lines up like that. All right, so same thing, okay guys. Make sure these uh, holes line up with the tabs on the top and bottom before you start. Uh, pounding it into place. I hope this is a better view, but so basically all I do is uh, insert it first into those holes. So now just make sure like all the tabs are lined up into the proper holes which they are, and then you can just go ahead and head it down. All right, so we're gonna flip it upside down again. So you're gonna get all these screws, and you're just gonna look, and there should be a couple of screws everywhere alongside the, uh, the chrome trim. So one's right here. So now in the top portion of the bumper right here, you're gonna put those four additional screws. Remember to look like this. 
So there's gonna be like 3M double stick tape for this. For mine, it's like, this one's gray, but mine is clear. And you can guys get this uh, double stick tape at any automotive store. All right, so let me just trim this up a little bit more. So he's gonna go ahead and take off the backing. All right. So now I'm gonna go ahead and stick it into place. So if you guys look over here, there's like these little push pins right here. Just line those up with the holes. Alright guys, so the next thing is gonna put these uh, sensors back in place. Alright guys, so that's how you remove and install a Lexus ES300 front bumper. Thank you guys for watching.